I'm now going to check the position of your windpipe. It might be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay? Okay. Feel your chest for your heartbeat, would that be alright? Yeah. And now I'm going to put my hands around your chest and I'd like you to take some deep breaths for me, okay? Here the doctor is feeling for the apex beat in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. This can be displaced if the mediastinum is shifted by a pneumothorax. The doctor is also feeling for a right ventricle. The doctor is also feeling for a right ventricular heave. This is present in core pulmonale. My hands on your chest now. So if you could take a deep breath in and all the way out, all the way. Here the doctor is measuring all the, the way lateral way expansion of the chest during inspiration. Normally the distance between the thumbs should increase by more than five centimeters and expansion should be symmetrical. Here, the doctor checks that the anterior-posterior expansion of the chest is symmetrical. Thank you. I'm just going to feel for your... Feel for some of the glands in your neck, so if you'd like to just rest your chin against my fingertips. The doctor is palpating for the submental, submandibular, preauricular, postauricular, anterior cervical trunk, supraclavicular, posterior cervical trunk, and occipital lymph nodes. These are located as... Put your shoulders up and push them forward for me. That's great. You can relax now. All right, now I'd like to examine the nodes in your armpit, so would it be okay if I just do that? That's okay. All right. So would you just give me your arm and just let me take the weight of it? I'd like to do the same on the other side. And just let me take the weight of it again. Okay. That's great, thank you. You can just lie down again. I'm just going to put my hands around your back now, like we did on the front. Take a deep breath in, and all the way out. The doctor measures lateral expansion on the back, the in, as she did on the front. That's great, thank you. Do you have any bottom of your back? The doctor is checking for Which peripheral edema on the front. The doctor is... That's great, thank you. Do you have any pain in the bottom of your back? No. The doctor is checking for peripheral edema, which occurs at the sacrum in bed-bound patients 
and can be a sign of right-sided heart failure. I'm just going to tap on your back now if that's okay. The doctor is feeling for pitting edema, which could indicate right-sided heart failure. Do you have any pain in your cardiac? No. The doctor is comparing each of the calves for redness, pain, and swelling, all of which could indicate a DVT. Thank you very much. That's the end of my examination. Would you like me to have a bit dressed? No, thank you. Okay. Are they comfortable there? Yes. Thank you very much. Toxicity and temperature. I'd also like a sputum sample and to measure peak flow. I would do further investigation. To complete my examination, I'd like to take a set of observations including blood pressure, pulse oximetry, and temperature. I'd also like a sputum sample and to measure peak flow. I would do further investigations as indicated, including bloods and a chest X-ray. This video was produced by Oxford Medical Videos. For any questions, please comment below. This video will demonstrate